We had a look about arrays and different type of functions in the array and its implementation in the last chapter. Now we'll focus on its implementation with the help of HTML and .js file. .js refers to JavaScript file. So this is my project folder. I have arrays folder in it and inside that I'm going to create a new file and the name of the file will be array implementation implement html so i've created this file inside this file i'm going to write whatever the html logic i want to say say for html page which i want to design in my array the next thing i want to tell you that the visual studio code is the editor which i'm using right now which can be used for js uh, files and .html files. It is like if you have a project which implements more of JavaScript, then Visual Studio Code is the best editor to work on it. And now in this HTML, I'm going to write just an HTML page declaration. But whatever the implementation of array it is, it will be not visible in the browser. Like it will not document or write it in the browser. It will be visible on your console front. So let's check out while creating the HTML file what all it's needed. First of all, I'll declare a doc type. So I'll say doc type HTML. After this, I'll start with my HTML tag HTML. Now inside this, I will say head and head will call for title. So my title is array implementation. Okay. So before this, I will also give a meta cassette. So I'll say meta cassette equal to UTF-8. So I give my head tag. After this comes my body tag. Okay. You can also expand the view of the code in your HTML file using Visual Studio Code the way it's I did it right now. So to get the better view of the code which you're designing right now. Now inside the body tag, I'll create a H2 tag which says execution execution of various array methods. Now, after this, I'll call for a script tag because I'm using the JavaScript file over here. So inside the script tag, I will say it is nothing but type as JavaScript. Type as text JavaScript. And inside that, I'll call for my script. So that script will be done using the attribute of SRC. And my name of the script will be array implementation dot js now we are not created this file so we'll create this file in the same folder so over here i'll say a new file with the name as array implementation dot js okay so this file will call for this src src means it is a source code of the js file so it will call for this array implementation dot js okay so let's open my file. Here I'm going to first of all declare an array. Use the functions like concatenation, getting the length of the array, insertion, deletion, whatever the criteria which we saw in the last chapter. So we are going to implement one by one over here. So let's start with it. First of all is like declaring an array. And before that I'm going to declare a variable. So my variable is say 0. And here I'll say the value of the variable is 0. After that, I'm going to declare an array. So my array will be array of positive, positive numbers. Okay. So here I'll say where positive numbers equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay, so once we are declared with the positive numbers, the next scenario comes as the negative numbers. 
So here I'll create a array, creation of an array for negative numbers and it will be var negative numbers equal to inside I'll mention minus 3 comma minus 2 comma minus 1. Okay. Now after this comes your concatenation functionality. So we are going to implement concat function for combining for combining these arrays. So for combining both these arrays what I am going to do is with the help of a concat function. So here I'll say I'll declare a variable say where numbers equal to negative numbers. So I'll take negative numbers first dot concat. I'll concatenate it with the variable 0 which we declared now which includes a value of 0 and after that I'll concatenate it with the positive numbers. See if you have the look for this Visual Studio code it automatically gives the possible uh, like say values once you keep on typing suppose I type positive for just that I type P O S I it automatically gave a suggestion that it is a positive number so in that friend it is very beneficial to use Visual Studio code if you are working on any kind of a JS file moving on to our code here I concatenated negative numbers with the zero as well as positive numbers so this is nothing but for printing the number line so how it will concatenate first of all it will concatenate my negative numbers that is minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and then it will take 0 and then 1 comma 2 comma 3 so in data structure perspective here you get the systematic approach of the number line and that functionality is very well developed with the help of concat function which concatenates two or mo even more than two arrays so uh, once i have done with that i'll do a console so it will be console.log i'm going to print numbers okay so this we'll check in our browser so this will be my here i'll mention as output one which i want to refer so this will be my first output after printing up the numbers the next thing i'm going to do is to get like even numbers and odd numbers kind of a function so here i'm going to call for a function and the name of the function is var is even and here i will call for a function that is function x it will take a parameter x and inside x i am going to return the values so it says that is even means if the number is divided by 2 it gives a reminder as 0 it means that the number is even so here i'll take a comment that it returns true if x is a multiple x is a multiple of 2 x means the parameter which you are passing through the function okay so now i will print a console say console.log x and inside that i'm going to say return what to return it's returning the modulus functionality x modulus 2 if equals 0 then i am taking the operator functionality which is nothing but the conditional operator so here i'll say true if x modulus 2 is 0 then it will return a value true if it is not that i get a negative value or not satisfying the condition then i'll get the value as false so this way it does now we need to simply call this particular function whenever we want to execute whether the given number is even or not so first of all i'll say where numbers okay or say numbers one because i've already declared one variable over here so here i'll again redeclare a function with the variables like value including an array up to 10 so i'm saying 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 
so my array length is defined as 10 so now I'm going to just check like whether my function is even is working or not so I'll just say numbers one dot every every method is nothing but the one which executes on each and every value in the array so I'll say is even which means that each and every element will go through this function like if one is modulus of two what value I'm getting if two is modulus of uh, two what a value I'm getting so in this way it is going to execute the function so here I'm calling for the every method and automatically it will execute the function the next thing after every method is the for each method so what does for each does it just calls for the values in the element so here I'll say numbers dot for each it is numbers one dot for each function it will call for a function with the parameter as x now inside x I'll say console dot log I'm going to print x modulus 2 if is equal equal to 0 it is like each and every number will go through this loop and what value I'm getting will be printed over here so in short it will print a true or a false statement so this was one set of the condition inside the x loop I'm just putting a semicolon that is the standard practice offered in JavaScript so this was about understanding with the even numbers uh, mapping thing the next comes is the sort function so for sort or you can say sorting the elements sorting the elements in array we use sort method okay now for that you just need to say number and dot sort so I'll just say console dot log I'm going to do sorting over here only it's already sorted but still you can reshuffle the values say for example I'll call for another variable say variable numbers 2 equal to reshuffle value of numbers so I have 7913 I'm going to sort this so for that I'll just say numbers 2 dot sort okay so this will just sort the method it's like sorting up the arrays in ascending or descending order by default it is nothing but the ascending order so this was about the sort functionality after this comes the next functionality is the compare so I'll say function compare inside that I'll take two parameters a comma b and after that I'll call for the comparison operator that is with if a if condition I'm giving if a is less than b then it has to return minus 1 okay this is the first condition after that if a is greater than b then it will return 1 okay and after this if both are equal okay so I'll just say else it will return or instead of that I'll specify the condition that would be better if a is equal equal to b then it will return 0 so it is like a must be equal to b you can remove this condition and just specify return 0 if both the conditions are not working fine say for example I'm removing it and just mentioning return 0 which means that if both the conditions are not satisfied it will automatically return a value of 0 so after that what I'm going to do is like I'll call for a console say console.log numbers dot 
sort and then I'll say compare so I'll call for compare function and I'll just end it so whatever the sorting numbers I'm getting over here it will be called inside the compare function or simply you can call a compare function with two parameters so let's check in our browser so I'll do one thing I'll take a compare parameter with two numbers so I'll say compare with two numbers 4 comma 9 we'll try doing this and later in the next chapter we'll again check for the other implementations so let's go to our browser so this is my browser I'm maintaining a track of all my JavaScript folder inside var folder so inside arrays I'll call for my HTML file so this gives the h2 method uh, tag which we gave like execution of various array methods now here we get we are getting output in 12 16 and 25 and 31 line number and 44 so your consoles are getting printed in your console line how to open a console is just keep putting a right click and then going on to the console so that is what it does so i'm done the same thing over here now i'm getting the output of 12 so line number that was nothing but moving on to the code number inside line 12 I mentioned that this would be my first thing like concatenating both the strings so I should get the number line like minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 so I'm getting that particular output over here so this is the number line with the index number it is mentioning then comes line number 16 which is nothing but checking out for is even parameter so here if I am calling for x say that particular value of x is being called in is even functionality over here so it is printing up the values so that print values is visible in line number 16 that is 1 which means that my module is I'm fetching the value as 1 and it is again printing up these values over here in line number 25 that we saw like every number is 1 for each like 1 is being tested with the console of 2 so it is like 1 modulus 2 what I am getting the value so I am getting the value as false over here 2 modulus 2 is true so that particular execution is listed here in the console and last but not the least was the implementation of sorting see we saw the sort functionality over here which included various type of uh, sorting things but here we by default I mentioned that we have the ascending sorting so it is sorting up all the values over here which is clearly visible and after that I have the last functionality which we saw is the compare thing. So here I am getting minus 1 because it's obvious that 4 is less than 9 so that is why it is printing the value of minus 1. So in this way the complete execution of array methods takes place. So this was about the implementation of array method. Moving on to the next chapter we will have a look on the multi-dimensional array implementation.